Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Good evening. This is Pastor Spencer from Messiah Lutheran Church in Salem, Oregon. Today is Wednesday, the 15th of July, Anno Domini 2020. Tonight we continue with the 105th Psalm, the second part. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then Israel came to Egypt. Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham, and the Lord made his people very fruitful, and he made them stronger than their foes. He turned their hearts to hate his people, to deal craftily with his servants. He sent Moses his servant, and Aaron whom he had chosen. They performed his signs among them, and miracles in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made the land dark. They did not rebel against his words. He turned their waters into blood and caused their fish to die. Their land swarmed with frogs, even in the chambers of their kings. He spoke, and there came swarms of flies and gnats throughout their country. He gave them hail for rain and fiery lightning bolts through their land. He struck down their vines and fig trees and shattered the trees of their country. He spoke, and the locusts came, young locusts without number, which devoured all the vegetation in their land and ate up the fruit of their ground. He struck down all the firstborn in their land, the firstfruits of all their strength. Then he brought out Israel with silver and gold, and there was none among his tribes who stumbled. Egypt was glad when they departed, for dread on them had fallen upon it. He spread a cloud for a covering and fire to give light by night. They asked, and he brought quail and gave them bread from heaven in abundance. He opened the rock and water gushed out. It flowed through the desert like a river. For he remembered his holy promise and Abraham his servant he brought his people out with joy, his chosen ones with singing, and gave them the lands of the nation, and they took possession of the fruit of the people's toil, and they might keep that they might keep his statutes and observe his laws. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever will be. Amen. And tonight we continue with our study of Romans chapter 5. And tonight we are going to look at the 20 and 21st verse. The law was added so that the trespass might increase. But where sin increased, grace increased all the more. So that just as sin reigned in death, so also grace might reign through righteousness to bring eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So far the text. So, the law was added so that trespass might increase. What does that actually mean? Well, where there is law, there is a definite marking point where you have gone beyond what is allowed. Today, we have people redefining law right and left, what's right and what's wrong. But God's Word is very clear about what is right and what is wrong. And when God says it, that settles it. It doesn't matter whether you believe it or not. God's word is God's word, and God speaks truth. And therefore, when God says something is a sin, it is a sin. But our rebellious nature in the fall, our rebellious nature wants to be our own God and define what we believe is right. And you may have noticed in society that there are those people out there that are unbelievers, but they are absolutely assured that what they're doing is right. And anybody that disagrees with them is wrong. Isn't that interesting? They won't turn to the Word of God, but they'll tell you what they think. And a lot of times it's, it's social uh, interest. You know, use your car's less, or, or save the animals, spay and neuter your cats all sorts of things out there that people will get on their soapbox and they'll start preaching at you and if you disagree with them then you're wrong but the reality is all authority true authority is from God and it's in his word so as those laws are put in front of us and not just the Ten Commandments but a 
plethora of laws, we realize how utterly sinful we are. That sin is alive and well in all of us. What it does is it forces us to turn away from ourselves because we can't fix it and turn to God. Because in the grace that He provides through the blood of Jesus Christ, we have forgiveness of sins and life eternal. That's what this is all about. The Bible is to be read Christocentrically with Christ at the core. As if He were speaking the words of His love to us. The cross is there to show us our Savior. The Word of God, the Law of God shows us our sin so that we turn to the cross to see our Savior. And in Him, in Him alone, do we find salvation that we need. And He gives it freely, no cost to you. Now, that is an incredible gift. And so I hope tonight you will rest quietly, knowing that you have been redeemed by Christ the Crucified, your risen Lord and Savior, who calls you His own. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift His countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. God's blessings.